Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a sort of animated portal system. Now, this is a nice thing, I think it's often used in like um, RPGs and things like that, when you step on a platform or something and you get teleported somewhere else, and it's a really nice and easy thing to make that you can use in your games. And with this tutorial, I'm not really going to go into um, mounds of detail with creating the particle effects and how I made um, other assets. If you want to know how to make other assets like this, this plinth or this, you know, teleport platform and all the particle effects in more details, leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll do a little tutorial on that as well. But really, with my scene, all my scene is is like before, is just of some terrain with my object on it. I've got a first person controller, a directional light, and I've got a set of particles, and I'll go over briefly and what three different particles are. Now I've got a normal particle which is looks like this and all that is is using the sparkles material from the standard assets um, particle pack which comes with unity and if you can't if you don't have that or you want to get that you can right click import package and choose particles and you can find that material in there and then I've just got some um, settings going along with that so it's in a cone shape about an 8 or a 9 radius you can emit from the base and then my emission rate is 28 and then the other settings it lasts 5 seconds start life 16 start speed 17 and everything's pretty much standard and then you get a particle effect which goes into the air and that'll be just a basis to what we're going to do I've got a secondary particle which is another one just to you know add more effect to it so it's very similar to the other one but it's got sparkles too and you know you can see all these settings on here everything's very very simple the shapes cone again with the same settings emission 28 like the others I think the settings are exactly the same but just with another particle effect so they both work together so if I select them both you know you can see that they're making you know, a nice glittery glowy no, portal stone or whatever you want to call it. That's pretty simple. I'll stop these so we don't see them. And then I've got one other particle effect which is going to be my teleport particles. So when you step, what we're going to do is when we step on the actual platform, it's going to stop the particles that fly, fly in the air and sort of give another particle effect to sim simulate you actually um, about to travel. So that's pretty much it for the particle effects and things. So we'll move straight into it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need an actual collider that when we step on this platform we're going to be teleported somewhere or we're going to do something. So what I like to do is if I click on that and we go on game object, create other, then cube. Now we're just going to create a cube for ease of um, this tutorial. And the cube is just going to represent our collider. What we'll do is we'll get remove the mesh um, renderer by clicking on that and then click and remove and what we can do is then scale this collider all the way up if we go on the y axis we can see you know we can just scale it to however we want and bring it up so it's you know so it fits nicely in the box you know that's roughly there and what we want to do is make sure that is tagged as is trigger because if it's a trigger and we want to walk into it we need it to be set to that and then what we want to do is we'll duplicate this collider and we'll actually put it somewhere where we want to actually respawn or be teleported to so we'll put it somewhere I'll just stop the video so you don't have to watch all this and now I've just placed my collider here and I'm gonna just scale this collider down because we don't really need it to be very big so and then I'm gonna take the as trigger off because we don't need it and I'll rename this as destination and I'll save that and then I'll go back to my other cube if you press F and you're on your workspace you can snap straight back to it and I'll name this um, portal collider so we keep everything um, easy to navigate and understand make sure that your FPS controller has got a tag of player so you know it's nice having some particle effects it's nice just setting those things up but we need to make the actual script now so if you go and create 
and then create JavaScript and we'll name this portal. And then from here you want to double click and open Mono Develop and we'll start writing the code. And when Mono Develop work, uh, shows up, we're gonna what we're gonna do is it's a very basic script, but we're gonna create five variables. So we're gonna create a variable called destination and we're gonna have that set to transform. Then we're gonna have three um particle um system variables because we've got three particles in our in our actual game so we want to actually reference those so we can make them do things we'll just copy that over I'll name that normal particle 2 and then my next one teleport particle and then we'll add another variable for our sound effect that we might want to use for when we teleport so teleport sound oh teleport sound as an audio clip so first of all in our start function what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure the teleport particle so that particle that appears once you've stood on the platform doesn't start until you and doesn't start at the beginning so you actually have to do something before you can actually see that so I don't want to need an update so we can write function on trigger enter and then you can write anything here but for this for the sake of this we'll put other collider you always have to write collider but you can write anything in the other slot and we'll create two curly brackets and we'll want to say if so other and the tag of other is equal to player that our, that your player will be tagged to then we'll create two curly brackets again we want to say normal particle one dot stop and once we've typed that we can copy this over we can put that in there three times and we'll, what we'll name that is to normal particle two dot stop and then we want to write in here teleport particle and then we want to say dot player and what we, that does there is that when you enter the trigger if when you've entered the trigger that you that you're tagged as player, those the, the particles that shoot up in the air stop, and the actual particle that signifies that you're going to teleport appears. And then what I wanted to do is to add some um, effect to it, so you can actually um, notice that the actual teleport um, particle effect is there before you actually shoot off. Because if I didn't write the yield we just shoot off as soon as we entered the collider so you know it gives a little bit of variation to it and a little bit more interesting so if we write yield wait for seconds then we write something like three wait for three seconds then we can do audio dot play one shot and then we'll write teleport sound Oops. teleport sound and then we'll write yield again yield wait for seconds one so once the sound is played we'll wait for one second and then we'll say other dot transform dot position equals destination dot position so what that means is and if you write semicolon what that means is that that what we said was other so the player position will now equal whatever we set the destination actual collider to be so that means that it'll move off to that position and then we won't want to write so we can change our um, teleporter back to its original um, function so it fires up in the air so we can see it from a distance I'll copy this and make it on trigger exit and then I will just copy these three lines just add my curly brackets and then I will add these three lines to my code the normal particle 1 we want it to play normal particle 2 to play and then teleport to stop but we've got a problem here I did that a little bit wrong. That one's got a bit teleport particle. 
and teleport particle. And then we'll save our script now and we'll go back into Unity. And on the pods collider that we've got, we'll add our portal script and we'll open that up. So we need the destination collider attaching, which is there. We need our particles, which is normal particle 1, normal particle 2, teleport particle there. And then what we can use is a sound effect for the actual teleport sound. So what we can do now is test the game. And as you can see, when I look at the actual particle, you can see it shoots off in the air and you can see it from a distance. And if I jump into it, into the collider, you can see that it stops and playing the other particle effect. But you see, this is what you may have forgotten. You may have forgotten an actual audio source on your um, portal collider because we've got a sound on there so it needs something to activate that sound so audio audio source and then we get an audio source on there and it'll work now so we'll walk into it again we'll see the particle effect particle effect changes hear the sound effect and then we're teleported all the way over here if I move over you can see in the very distance you might be able to just about make out there the particle effect. So that's pretty much it. We've created a basic um, teleporter with the particle system and a bit of script to move your player across. So thanks very much. And if you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.